<laughs> the Kyle Mein Fuhrer, he says. Uh, I don't know if Hans is here or not. <laughs> Welcome to RealLibertyMedia.com. And uh, we're kind of hey, dorking Benny. along. Hey, Flash, right here <laughs> on RLMRadio.xyz. And we're in the chat. Some of us are and some of us ain't. Some of us aren't even <laughs> listening in right now. And there's this, those of us that don't even know it. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you here I with me? I don't know. I'm here by the the grace of good. Yeah. I am here. You know, that's really relative, the grace of good. I, I found you're, that. You're, you're welcome. Yeah, I found that in... Uh, um, I just like thought there. I made that up myself, but apparently <laughs> I stole it oh from somebody. I, I just know. don't know who. Yeah, I like the sound of it, though. The grace of ah. good. It's hard to it's hard to be original, but you can try. Okay. So, dork table with me, Vincent. Dork table. Dork table. The grace of good. I like it. You got the title right there. <laughs> Is that good with you? Okay. Wait. Let me get my writing instrument and write that down. I like it. I really like it a lot. I, I see that. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I'll say hello to the bots and bodies as you're uh, um, grabbing your thing to uh, instrument. Yeah, I've got with. it right here. Go ahead. Say hello, everybody. Instrument no, away, really sir. Hello, barman and beetle and Grimner and moose girl with the uh, A with the circle around it right there, uh, up there in the uh, category of the people that are in charge. DC, back brackets, and anti Asmo, Beth Z, and Chelsea Doni, or Donnie, <laughs> free enslaved. Would you rather be free or enslaved? Or free Me? and enslaved. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a oh. catch-22 at times there. Well, Graham, Z my the... path's we got a big M in the middle of it. So mm. there's no choice, Vince. Mm. Once you're married, you're not free anymore. There you go. So eh. I said goodbye, freedom. Hello, marriage. Eh. There you go. Well, what you going to do? Make your choice not, and live with them. Not go to Spain and you know live on the beach. Well, I've got a story about Spain. <laughs> It has to do with rain on the plane. But I'll just let you know right is, now. <laughs> Let's say hello to the rest of them. Hello, Graham Z. <laughs> hey, Grimmer. Uh, he said it, and I like I it. Yes, it's the grace of good. We'll talk about it. We'll try to figure that out. Because I good. was opening up being a smartass. Yes. Graham Z. Relating words, as I often do there, Grimner. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So I'll say the, I'll say wait, you can uh, you can say hi too. Say hi, Gramsy. Yeah. Gramsy, and I, uh, I haven't seen Gramsy in about twenty minutes. She had a really good article about. Uh, I think she called them curtains. I just called them veils and rent them and stuff like that last night on the the broadcast blast off of the rocket chair with Gramsy. And uh, so who's that we got here? I be Don C and Java Doctor too. Judge Dredd, the mighty haunts a lot. Ooh. And the ponder gander, the feller that looks ah. and thinks a lot. And Kate, with the plus. That's and a Rob Kate. Works. And a Rome's. And a Vanna White. Works. And Vinny M- M- Mumbler. That's me. <laughs> I mumble. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Weirdo. Weirdo. Uh, I swear. Weirdo. <laughs> dark. Woodman. That's old Woody. And that's right. The Woodman, he wanders the uh, Woody Wood, Wood Woody Man. Ever, sir. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and well, then he says, so Mike. And, <laughs> yeah. Then the lovely circle. Hey, honey. She's, Hello. She's outside in the backyard crocheting. We'll, we'll have to yell out. Hey, circle. I don't know if she's listening or not. She might not be. She might be. I couldn't tell. There's some what Graham calls noodly goodness. Cyborg noodle and flash. Somebody Ugh. with an M in the middle. Frumpy the third and Grom and JJ's with lots of nines in between the JJ's. And kiss and uh, smart like Hans. He's yeah. smart like Hans. Well, yeah. Are you, do you smell smart? No, you went blank, though. You said something smart like Hansel, and then two seconds and nothing. Smart. That. Oh, you're playing with words, huh? Smart. 
Oh. Yeah, so, so what's the point? Wait a minute. Uh, the, the grace I've is seen, good. That's I've seen the point. his I've seen his reaction when he saw it yesterday, and it was not like he was glad to see it. <laughs> he was not really. He was off, off ended. Well, well, I would in a, in a kind of a weird Hansel way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's another some bot. people. I some people don't understand that the plan has a recipe. <laughs> when you see things that resemble government, they're they're probably happening the way you see them. <laughs> hey, that wasn't very nice. Hey, big meaning. What? You big meaning. Well, you know, we've been around a while and pissed people off, and we don't have bots named after us. <laughs> so, hey, here's to me and here's to you. <laughs> Man, here's you. I gotta change my neck so I can speak better. Uh, better. Yeah, I would say that if if I had a, a bot name like that, somebody kind of took me too seriously and <laughs> got mad. <laughs> I would. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. No, uh, you wouldn't. What I would, would you take do? it and run with it. Yeah. You can. When they started this poop business, I said, yeah. "Yeah, I'm Vinny the Poop. I love it." Yeah, I know. And yeah, you brought it here where nobody knew what it meant. Now we all know whether we want to or not. Yeah. You newspaper. I'm a Putin peacock, baby. You're the you're like the um newspaper. You're like a living freaking newspaper. That's what you are. You're gonna get the message through by God and country and here we go. Yeah. It's so, okay. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. I've never <laughs> been shy about you go out in the world and do the shit exactly opposite of what I would do. You are socially we're we're exact opposites. I'd be covert and like a spy. And you're out there in the fucking center of everything with a badge rack wrapped around your throat saying, Look at me. <laughs> uh, I'll pass on that. I uh I did something new this last week that was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I went to uh uh music Go see band. music. Yeah, and uh I didn't get a an interview with the uh, main band, but uh Matt Heckler he did oh. and he's all like, Let me tell you uh, I'm quick to shoot a question down or something like that. I mean, I guess I, mm. I got to think later. It was like that movie, Almost Famous, right? And it's like I'm the enemy because I, I, I like presented myself as press. I said, uh, "Hey, could uh, you know get a few words?" And, but I did get an interview with a, a few folks, and it was pretty amazing the, where the people come from and how they come together in this common. Uh, uh, Man, it's really hard to, to get inside of and understand sometimes. But music has that central core that really brings people together, you know? Ah, yeah. yeah. In a bigger group. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're going to only go to see that if it strikes your taste buds. And then most of the time, the people that do like the same kind of entertainment, they think the same political shit, too. Yeah, I met I or met not people, or not political shit, I something met, like that. Yeah, I met people that would one might suppose to be way different than I, and so uh, I went with the intent to put on my costume, but it was too hot, so I just wore a t-shirt, my cowboy hat, and jeans. And, so, anyways, hey crazy. metal, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but folks I met, you know, were like, uh, it was at a biker bar in Tulsa at the Mercury Lounge. Um, Last week. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Last month. All right. I'm just Past making sure I'm in the right. Okay. I'm making sure I'm in the right story. So people came. <laughs> Continue. From, uh, yes. People came from different parts uh, around the country that had followed them, and uh, that was the last uh, their last gig on this tour, and they'll they'll have another tour coming back up. So, uh, um, to to imagine they came up as teenagers on the street, and you know, learned to uh, play music to make tips and get by in life and uh, the culture that they lived in and existed in the violence and, and wait so did you go to specifically see a certain band play yes. too or is this part of it yeah this is the band i specifically went to go see what what are they called yeah it's the uh, uh lost dog street band lost dogs wow no dogs kind of the, lo- the lost the OG the, or dag <laughs> the, the lost dog Street band, D O V. The Lost Dog Street Band, and okay, Matt Hedler, who they've recorded. Uh, but anyway, so they come up off the streets, right, uh, from teenagers into their their twenties now, and have uh, <laughs> gone beyond that 
being that street band, they've got you know recorded uh, records now, and uh, their their first one now they've got their second album, The Lost Dog the Street Band does, and uh, Matt Heckler he's done one uh, after the flood. It's an excellent excellent album too. Um, there's really a lot of feeling in there, and for me I, I see this commonality that uh, that people find in this struggle and this seeking this this uh, grace of good that that going in the right direction that uh it's not uh it's not a line you cross but a direction and and that's what I said to this girl that uh I met there in Tulsa. Um the the punk rockers uh um what do you call it? Uh, it's complicated thing <laughs> right as far as relationship. But she's I like she's like this other question. It's she's like um I don't know, Buddhist Zen type uh um it's hard to put these titles because you know how do you describe somebody? But how how I how how we described each other is we we found that we uh, we uh, occupied common ground and uh, that's uh, we really made a great connection and you know hugs and all that when I left and dudes all like man yeah awesome and I said like most people uh, wouldn't know how to get take me you know sometimes so yeah it props to him <laughs> yeah but you you really work hard to not be typical. I think. Well, I mean, it's not like you don't know you're not being like everybody else. Because you could if you wanted to. It's more natural now. Maybe you had to work at it at some point. Uh, It's still an outside force, mister. I know. Mister, protect my... You're going to protect yourself from the outside somehow or another. You just do it in words. Borders, maybe, huh? Yeah, but you use words. You don't threaten anybody. You don't have, you know, like some people are threatening. Well, I'll have you under arrested. You would never fucking threaten somebody else with. I'm going to call the police on you. Oh yeah, I had to you're, be. You're not uh, like that. I was are a you? peacekeeper. No, I'm a peacekeeper. I think you were. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah a definite no. peacekeeper. I've yeah that history. Keep those life. crazy fuckers with the guns out of everything. Wow. I was oh, a peacekeeper. Grim says I need to back away from the mic. Step okay. away Up. from the mic, Mister. Well. So, <laughs> Rob, uh, I'll drop my whoops. I went. Up, I'll drop my volume down to eighty-four, and then if it's not loud enough, then we'll try it again. We'll go up a bit. And then if it's still too loud, we'll drop it down. And in the meantime, so, Mister, you were talking about your um, the the Lost Dogs Street no, Band. Lost Dog Street Band. Dog. Okay, dog. plural. I yeah. added an S. Well, it was. Uh, I'm I'm very um, helpful with letters. I have. Uh, I'll, I'll give you some letters any any fucking time you want. Some letters, just ask me. I'll give you a whole fucking handful of them. For what? <laughs> Free. <laughs> I got them. I Back got away them. from I got the microphone. Keyboard. I got okay. a keyboard full of them, and they're repeatable. Well, I'm at uh, 18.13 on the clock, so if I'm still too loud, they're not bitching about it, you lucky fuckers. The there you grace go. Oh. of good. So, okay, so you is know, that the end of your epic tale of the Lost Dog Street Band? Well, well no, certainly not. Oh, okay. Not, no. Where does this go? Well, it comes to, it brings us to today's title, right? The Grace of Good that you came up with. I like it. The Grace of Good. Well, because I was making a joke of a standard that other people would have expected to hear. You know, I'm here by the grace of God. Is So I made a play of words on it. Just fucking around. It's kind you know, of the same thing. To be taken. I'm kind of surprised, Vince. Well, this is why me and you end up doing this shit together. So if nobody else even fucking listens to this shit, me and you know something <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? We agree about something, me and you, and the rest of the people, I don't know. Sometimes they agree with us, and sometimes they don't. I think people may agree and not realize it at times. That's why I, oh, yeah, because it's not, so, yeah, the point you're, well, you talk in a confusing way at times, so, yeah, and so do I. I'm sure I leave people throbbing. <laughs> what the fuck was all that about, Johnny? <laughs> well, we're not sure. Yeah, the great yeah. and good is oh, to be. Okay. I yeah, I've tried that, but the the arm is so old. Who are you talking on to? On this, uh, 
<laughs> he said not not to worry about the volume switch that it was moving the mic away, but the arm on it is so worn out it doesn't it doesn't stay where it's put. It's got like a loose wheel in there, so it slides around a bit. Sorry, Grim. I'm gonna. I've been at, trying to get Cirque to get me another set. I don't know. She's just not motivated. <laughs> I'll do it myself then on the internet, but. I don't trust myself so much like I trust her with the computers and shit. But I'll probably just break down and do it myself tonight. Take the matter into my own freaking hands, by God. Country, treat it like a, the bitch it is. Where do they have that festival of the tomatoes at? The matoes. For sure what? Take the matoes. The tomato? Grow, yeah, don't they throw tomatoes somewhere? Or squish them? Wait, wait! You're asking Spain. me a vague question yes, like that about a particular Spain. country or yes, place? Yes, Maders in Spain and cause Spain. I yes, don't know. We not started Spanish. talking about Spain. You did earlier. Yeah, because at one time I was considering going there as a place to stay. I wanted to be in the south where it was warm, but I ended up in the north where it's brisk. So it's a compromise. It's warm now. The sun's out. We got summertime, but here you get seasons. Down uh, there, it's a little warmer. You find yourself in the grace of good, then. Oh, nah. I was making a joke in the long. Well, I don't really I find myself it's, anywhere, it's Vinny. I, I'm just doing shit. It is, yeah. no, and I'm comfortable with what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So it's good. I get along. I get along it's with people. And grace. Shit. It's all right. Grace. Grace. Right. Grace. It's a state of being. Grace. Where you exist, right? Is right in an allowance. Well, if you're gonna take the word and and define it for what it really is, then it changes the whole meaning of everything. It makes it more specific. Well, absolutely, the grace. Because of the today's language is written in a in a harmony that doesn't seem to do anything. It's kind of like blah. Oh. There's no feeling to it when you hear other people speak out loud. It's There's no nothing. You know how a certain music will make you feel good about what you're hearing. But voices today, you hear people talk and it doesn't do it. Nothing. Flat. It's like text on the screen. It doesn't have any, any body to it at all. Just whatever you, your mind wants to create around it for your amusement. But words out loud, they should ring. Well, I got my laundry off the line, so. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You've come a long way. Where you got your laundry off. Well, well, at least you've got laundry to put a line underneath, I yeah. suppose. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a solar wind powered <laughs> clothes dryer. Uh, does the solar wind breeze through your ears too, Vinny, or do you just pretend it does? It, Vinny is like you're like the RLM blonde sometimes <laughs> with your word games. Wow! Did you hear about hey, this Vinny's one got blonde? The low temp. Ah, they're playing <laughs> poker with the temperature today. This, uh, listen, so this blonde, yeah, she's walking by, and here's this other blonde out in the middle of a wheat field in Kansas in a rowboat. She's all like, you know, it's blondes like you that give us a bad name. And if I could swim, I'd come out there. And <laughs> yeah, it's sad. I know blonde jokes, but well, they've kind of got people that are uh, that ill trained to behave that way. Never know. I'm could be a, could to, be a meme, I suppose. I'm listening to a really good audio book. I just finished the... Right I, now? I listen, no, not right now. I listened to part <laughs> zero and part one. I want to go back and listen to part zero. Does again. it have a name or a subject? Yeah, or it does. It's called the Plague Wars. Audio book. Yeah, by David Van Dyke. It's Plague Wars. Oh. Uh, book one is okay. Reaper's Run. The Did you get an game. inoculation so you don't get the plague? No, they. Uh, it, it's very interesting. It's kind of almost yeah. uh, a takeoff on, on zombieism, but the plague yeah. is like, uh, it changes the people where they, uh, like cancers healed and blind to see. And, uh, there's a mm. lot of play off on uh, uh, Bible quotes. That is, is well, I don't know about Bible quotes, but I know about... Uh, playoff words and here's yeah. one is that in the killer diller books they'll say pork 
tastes like human. Mm-hmm. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, cannibals. Yeah. Yeah. I, I listen they'll to refer, called yeah, Cannibal they'll refer Rain. to that. Ooh, hey. Cannibals. Wonder if it's true. So yeah, I'm wondering how true? this book's gonna work out. This plague that they oh, got it okay. corrects them, but they gotta eat a lot. So I'm wondering at some point are they gonna out eat themselves and start going to cannibalism or zombieism type of uh, thing here in this play. They infect people uh, with you know, bites and kisses. It's okay. yeah, a good careful. story. Yeah, I, I like it. I'm liking it. I like it. that, yeah. But there's a lot, uh, little quibbles that come out of that. One is uh, uh, hmm. a man can't live in, in another man's heart. And so... To, uh, oh. Yeah, to, to be able to... Well, that's kind of nice for you to tell me that. Walk, Thank you. Walk in, in another man's shoes. You know, you've heard it said. My, so. my wife might not like it if I tried that shit now. This advice does not help me at all. Wait. I'm in a prison thing. You Marriage. Might, no, that's it. useless. Yeah, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not a, a love of sexual type of deal. It's the, uh, <laughs> the <laughs> what I mean is... I don't have the freedom in life to uh, behave any freaking which way the wind blows me. I have to behave, you know, in a certain fashion to stay uh, afloat in society You're without con- ruining my life. You're it's very simple. It's an equation. But people have tempers, and some people don't know how to control the anger that so comes from it. you constrained, right? I think it's real. You're constrained, right? Me? I I think I'm just not plugged into that wavelength so much. Uh, can get out of it real easy yeah. and ignore it. So what I'm talking about goes beyond uh, constraints of uh, yeah. uh, regulation and society of rules and so forth, but uh, actual that grace of good that where you go to that state of being where one exists with another uh, mm. and that allowance and then that understanding and then that striving and that general direction of what is good that is right yeah see all your all your good lessons are to me not to you to me are all based off a conflict of some kind or another that i think would be eliminated if the equation was written that we just do what's best for everybody period not just nine people out of ten or three out of a hundred but what's the best thing for everybody and then when it comes down to this personal shit that people have turned into big problems. Oh, you called me a nigger. So fucking what? Grow up. Their words. What? Are you going to grow a third eye because I said words? Okay. So here we are. And this is accepted. Am I wrong? No. Not so much. I mean, crying out loud, people are afraid to say certain uh, dialects things really that's just rubbish anyway they're slang and if you repeat those words now they've been uh, vilified by the system like there's some kind of freaking enemy a word hey grim's got me uh he's got me remote he's working on levels over here all right what are you uh-huh. gonna do when they vilify the word cupcake cupcake i don't know huh? then what you gonna do huh well, who are you going to cry to when they do it? You know you're what? You're going to go, hey, Mr. Government. That book that I was just talking about? Uh, Let, so yeah, this plague yeah. that people get infected with, which they're the people that got it, they started spreading it on purpose. And what happens was it corrects the body. So the government, uh, uh, you know, the powers that be, that is, uh, they want to keep it suppressed because what happens if uh, you don't need doctors and you don't need, you know, there's no cancer industry and uh, but it also has this, uh, it's called the Eden uh, Plague, I think. It was. But anyways, it corrects even the um, the mental deficiency and the desire for um, suppress, uh, suppressing another will person's will with your own to overpower. Basically, it gives you morals to do right and good. And, and this is out takes, of a book? Yeah, or, takes, wait, wait. yeah this what, book. Okay, what's yeah. the book called? The one I just told you. Plague Wars. Well, tell me again. Plague Wars. Huh? Plague Wars by Van Dyke. Plague Wars. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, no, it's a well, series. Wait a minute. Yeah, so they they lose their, what would, okay, call sin, maybe. 
And that's why I say it plays off these Bible verses and stuff, and it's bouncing this idea. I wonder where it's going with it all in the end. It's not like a religious book, but there is undertones of uh, uh, f philosophical religiosity, let's say. So anyways, mm -hmm. the system, the powers that be, and, it, and it's so relative of how the world works today, you know, how they keep us in fear and dependent and... Uh, um, that this system exists, otherwise it would collapse on, on itself. If people didn't have to, uh, you know, be afraid and uh, the scarcity that is artificially created and so forth, and the use of uh, the oil and so forth, like you and I have talked about. So they're they're fighting against this, but um, it, it'll be interesting to see where the book goes. See, you're and you're everything that you guys always do is all fighting and. Winning and competing and Thank debating, you, and warring and paying off and lobbying. It's a wonderful past to have. Yeah. Well, I'm not jealous at all. That I'm saying uh, I'm glad that you stay in touch with me as much as you do, so that we always have an up to date version of what's going on back home. Because you're probably the best. You know, out of all the people available to tell you what's going on, you're you're the most honest. <laughs> Go yeah, figure. I, I look at that yeah. too, and that yeah. that grace of good. And I, I was thinking earlier today, um, uh -oh. we're yeah, that I got that balance, and I really do. I seek that that good, and to be a judge, if uh, if we weren't if we weren't uh, encumbered by these rules and uh, that do not seek right and good or justice. Well, uh, yeah, but see, Vinny, wait, you, you've got to listen to it from my side to understand how I, how I feel about it. So you're telling me what you think about it, but are you really that curious to what the other guy thinks completely? Well, you have or to Or are be, you just bent on your version of no. what's good for all of us? You, you have to be able to understand that other, the other person, where they're coming from. And that's where the conflict comes from, and what Beth was talking about earlier in chat, how that yeah. uh, separation comes in division. Mm. You know? And I'm saying that there's absolutes in nature that would dictate what is the best quality of this, that, and the other thing for a human being to use. There's equations. They can run math equations, come up with all these answers, and use these things and save us all. But there's no profit in us survival, you know, surviving comfortably. The way they do it is to keep all the the big pay, people got big money, and the rest of us fight over it, like ten percent, seven to ten percent, something like that. Yeah, you can you can just see where we're at, where Graham's again yesterday on uh, her podcast. Listen. Uh, yeah, but we live in this hoarding. Uh, I own. I'm a billionaire. This is what people strive to be. They they relish this and. Worship it, and I think it's stupid, but, you know, people that's can, me. I, mean, I don't know what enough is. People can only exist where they're at, and like uh, these curtains or these veils that uh, are supposedly mm. stacked against uh, the majority of people. It's very few that break on through to the other side. Right? What, yeah, but what really does that mean anyway? Just because I see the, the crap see around beyond me. beyond what you that, see, what you're okay, supposed well, to let see. Me, Okay, let me. I was going to give a comparison right. here. Okay, compare me to a Trump supporter. Me and that Trump supporter are lo both looking at the same example, but our perspective of Trump changes the way we engage the answer. You shall, know, I'll see the negative in it because I see the negative in Trump. Shall and if I, the supporter sees the positive, they're going to see the positive in it. All right. So shall I compare thee to a summer's day first? No, probably if not. If it makes you feel summer's good, Eve, sweetheart, yes, do I, what you like. I'm going to go with a summer's What would my summer. wife say about that? <laughs> I'm going with a summer's eve and not a summer's <laughs> day. <laughs> you big douche. <laughs> okay, let's look at the Trump supporters. Now, uh, Mama Bear, matter of fact, uh, uh, I've got the stamp envelope in the extra stamps to mail it, and uh, so I'll put that in the mail Monday. The signed... Uh, Pocket Constitution by Clive and Bundy. She won the bid on that for fifty-four dollars to uh, uh, benefit the political uh, uh, political prisoners thing there. Thanks, Andrea. Um, so the Trump supporters. She called me the other day and 
she's a big Trump fan, and she knows I'm not, and, um, but she has hope. Wait, right? you So not, people are lying their hope. Wait, That's wait, as wait, far wait. as they've been able to go. They cannot wait. go beyond having this hope for the state and somebody to stand and represent them and bring what's right and good to bear. But, but it's I not thought happening. you were a Trump supporter all this time, Vinny. <laughs> what? You know what's funny? I, I never liked Trump. <laughs> I've never made a secret oh, of yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I got a spider crawling around looking for a bug. Oh, maybe I've got you confused with that friend of yours. Oh, never mind. I I was lost. Yeah, Grimner's got a point, though. Point? Yeah. Uh, okay. And not on your bony head, boy. No. <laughs> you got to be uh, corrupt to well, be a judge. You but, do. you see, you're not as impartial in a way as impartial indicates... Because you're still leaning towards certain ideas that no. make it... <laughs> I don't lean. Well, yeah, because the game is still rigged the way you, you're playing it. I'm not playing. Well, you sure you are. No. You're leaving behind a record for people to to look at. That means sure. And you were involved in this shit, Vinny. It's different. I'm, I'm, I'm looking player. on what you did <laughs> I'm a from the outside, not from you doing it from the inside. There's two versions to this. That's why I say, you to me, I would have never done that in a hundred years. No fucking way. So, I'm glad you you stood up and did it. But if that would have been my position to play, I wouldn't have done it. I did it, and I'd do it again. Yeah, I and I'm amazed. See, but other people aren't so amazed at you then as I am. But I know how difficult it is to do what you did because I wouldn't fucking do it for the love of money. Are you insane? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> wow. I got to, uh, I'll have to listen to, to the freakers because I fell asleep last night. Oh, I, I missed it. I had a late day today. I didn't get up till 9.30 my time. That's sleeping in around here because of the animals. And we got this old cat that thinks it's a kitten now, so yeah. life is amusing on the weekends. <laughs> It's like having kids, only they're they're not as mu not as much attention. But it's the same, you know, the same. You gotta treat them a certain way so you don't break them, because they're little. You know, they're just little kids. Right. Little kids do stupid, boy, boy. You know, because they're learning how to do shit, and they fall and they knock stuff over, and you gotta just be on them. <laughs> it's a lot of work to be around a kid. So a couple of friends went back up. Friends like family went back up to Maine. They're well on yeah, their way back there. Yeah, you were saying there. about that. Uh, okay, uh, wait. So you, Maine, huh? Uh-huh. They don't have any ticks family. up there unless you go out out there where the moose and the the deer play. Mm. <laughs> One of their daughters, she's like freaked out. Ticks, oh my God. <laughs> it's a different <laughs> word. <laughs> ticks. I, I say that because wow. I just caught a little one and I just toasted him. Ooh, the ticks, the ticks. Uh, the lunatics. The lunatics are, yeah, they're probably almost as bad as concentration, especially in places like Washington, D.C. <laughs> I said, I say what you say, sir. I'm agreeing with you 100% today on the dark table just to get along. In the grace you know of good. Hey. Well, in the overall... It doesn't matter because when when the re revolution happens, we're all going to be asleep and wake up to it and go, "Hey, how'd this happen?" <laughs> huh, this is something just popped up on me. I got completely what? distracted from what? Outlook. I got a notification here. What's that? Uh, just sharing something nice with everyone. Oh, and it's got my name on there. Oh, okay, Whoa. Vinny's flirting with the babes, everybody. No. Okay, get that straight. This is uh, this is act That's I'm talking about the family. Babes love Vinny because he flirts with them all no, the time. No, this is uh, like uh, uh, my cousin's uh, cousin, to, uh, uh, my cousin's uh, wife, which I, I count as my favorite cousin. Her cousin. Oh, uh, yeah, one of those. Yeah, kissing cousins no. never tell. It's uh oh, server's misbehaving. It didn't open. Uh oh, that's not good. Ain't Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Oh. Saving all my love for so. you. Oh, oh. 
So you had this big, exciting weekend. Are you tired now, or are you oh, no, rejuvenated? No, no. Uh-uh. And we stopped on the way back, about an hour north of here, up on the Buffalo River. Cirque saw yeah. it. Yeah, she's checking out and some others. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Up in Hasty. Yes, it was a hasty retreat <clears throat> back home and a stay along the Buffalo. It was uh, a big cliff there. It's probably, uh, it wasn't a, quite 200. I was calling it 300 at night, and I, I had to see it in the day, daylight. And say, oh, no, no, it wasn't 300, probably 180-foot cliff. And it was like okay. an echo, and there was a, a spring running off and splashing onto the flat rock right into the, next to the river. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was way cool. Wow, so, and you didn't even dive off head first into it and ruin your life. You're getting better, no, Vinny. The water's like 55 degrees. I didn't, I didn't go swimming. Uh, Whoa! Why not? Because it's too cold, and I went and wanted to get too cold. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What kind of tough guy are you? It's too hey, cold. I'm, I put smart, my toe in I'm the smart, oh. tough, tough guy. Yeah, I went and dipped. No. I went and dipped the dip you just, enough to Okay, know. yeah, but you just lost points on the dark table, <laughs> tough guy rating system. It yeah, was you. night, man. We got <laughs> there. We got there. It was. It was getting dark. I went and jumping in. There. <laughs> 55 degree water it and then be like uh, trying to get now, dry and go to bed see you were just a victim of my peer pressure tactic <laughs> uh, i've got video of me actually good coming out of 55 degree water at lake mojave yeah. and but i made you feel all sh- i'm tough like man stuff yeah Early and yeah shit. come on just, put by, up, just put by saying up. a few words What's about water you get is something what do you think of that, tough guy? I've got sure video proof, work. mister. I've got video proof yeah. I'm tough. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, <laughs> from the old days when you were younger. Sure, and we all do that. It's only five years ago, man. Only. Yeah, I was, only. I was fixing to be 50. Yeah, but think, see, some people don't have a last five years because they're gone. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, what a world. Mr. G- Mr. Uh, what do you call that? Competitive? You're the number one liver. <laughs> liver. Look what I did. Look what I did. Anyway. I'm doing it for myself, man. Are I'm you? Gonna, yeah, I'm do what I can while I can and have no regrets, yeah. right? Oh, like, come eat a, on. Eat a peel off, you would say. things quite a bit. It depends on no, how, right, of course, right. it depends on your definition of that particular word, regret. What What exactly is that anyway? How do you, how do you feel bad about how life went when it went that way? Like you have any fucking choice to think well, about it? Let Let me put it this way then. And as but, I was talking to one of these nice people that uh, I met on my journey, where I stayed at their house actually. I, didn't uh, like my question. Well, no, I was going to answer it. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. So regrets um, from your past? Would you change things? Would yeah? Would you like to undo any harms? Yes, but. As far as regrets, have you worked through it and come to where you are now into a better place? And therefore, all that that you did live through makes you who you are now. So that would oh, be yeah. to have without, no regret. Yeah, then you that, come. That. It's a point that you come to, right? Yeah. Without it, you wouldn't be here. Yeah. So does that answer your question? Absolutely. I just... Me and you aren't supposed to necessarily agree. We were supposed to be on opposite sides of shit. Yeah, and here we are, one never, more time, finding out like that, ground man. at the dork table. Yeah. Vincent, you're going to gonna get a dork crown if you keep hanging out here. There's a song about common ground, I think. Well, you know, you're one of the few people I know that understands what anarchy means. Some people don't really understand what it means. I had that conversation with this biker chick in Tulsa at the... Uh, uh, Recently, Lounge. yes, yeah, the, okay. before the right. concert. Or I don't want to call it a concert. That's not the right word. Um, yeah, so she's all like, um, "No, yeah." So who are you? And I said, um, well, uh, "Well, let me tell you who I am." And I said, "What are you?" I said, "I'd like to say an anarchist, but uh, people don't know that what that means, especially people that call themselves anarchists." So she says, oh, after we talk, oh, so you're a libertarian. I said, well, I, yeah, I guess, in a way. Kind of. So, titles. Titles, titles are hard to get. Titles. Give me a title. Yeah. People live for titles yeah. and certificates. Oh, man. Put it uh, on a certificate. Uh, you can hear their brains bubbling when they collect them. <laughs> 
Never mind. Did I hit? Did I hit dry the dry end of the pool? What uh, happened? I did I lose you? I hear bubbles. Hmm. Well, I was being super sarcastic. Mm, that's pretty good. I have a lemon. You're, well, in my you're welcome. Oh, you did you get a lemon on purpose? Yes. Or are you a victim of a, a crime? You got a lemon. It's was no crime. Mm. It's an actual lemon. Yes. Real, if you squirted in your eye, what would happen? You would probably cry. <laughs> not me. I don't. Not the one that's doing anything with a lemon. You, you won't are. even get into fifty-five degree water. Me? Yeah. Why not? Would you? Would I you don't ad- know. Would you adopt it or ever? I would avoid it at this point. I mean, I wouldn't do it as a choice because I I was saying on the recent Dork Table podcast, I've committed myself. To return to the pool, to the swimming pool after a long, long absence. Dude, I do not swim in swimming pools. That's a, I don't give a fuck. I know what a shower does. That's Yeah, but you know people pee I'm in the not pool. going in there to drink the fucking water, <laughs> Vinny. It's swimming the pool. Chlorine, don't, eh. You know what? Okay, chlorine don't breathe the air. You. They, they put shit in that. Don't eat the food. They put shit in that. Come on. You can't dump. Stop it. Listen. <laughs> It used to be you'd find uh, a, what they call cesspools back in the old days. And that's when <laughs> fi- people finally got toilets in their house but didn't know what to do with the doo-doo, so they dig a hole and run it in there. You would not go swimming in doo-doo. So, I mean, there's a difference, right, between breathing air and eating the food and swimming in crap. Hey, I don't, I'm not going swimming in Chicago, Vinny. I'm... <laughs> Going in Freddy Town. It's a different world out here. A hundred. I'm telling you, it's 180, complete 180. Especially with Freetown so close. So why not? I want to be a hippie anarchist scum. I know right where to go, where nobody will fucking even notice me. Can you imagine being so in, invisible in a society that nobody even gives a fuck that you're there? <laughs> You have to really work hard to make a, a presence of yourself to get attention because nobody's really there to, to pay attention. You know the best way to hide is in plain sight. Well, I wasn't even talking about that. I was just enjoying the enjoying Freetown when I'd been to it. was very unique from living in a big city where there's rules and laws. And, and here there was just requests like little bits of grass where the kids played. Uh, please don't smoke hash here. Don't for the, let the kids, grass. yeah, because that's where the kids would play. So the the local would put a sign up: "Please don't smoke hash here for the kids." So <laughs> people would go, "Oh, okay, I won't," the and they'd go, you know, twenty yards the other way or whatever, and go smoke over there, and give the kids a place where they could play without the being around freaking people that are smoking. I would turn a blind eye if you were smoking. I guess I makes me corrupt, according to Frumpy. Well, right, but I would instead of <laughs> it, right, but instead of the intrusion of how you can word that in a lot more uh, violent ways, and this was just you know like common decency, to, so that some of the kids that weren't around you know weed yet could have a place to play around where there wasn't no weed. Yeah, I thought that was kind of nice. That's uh, that's you said decent, right? Well, yeah, because I like uh, being asked. I don't, I don't like being decent. told. Man, Cirque knows that. What don't that? tell me what to do, or I'll tell you what to do. Being that ain't going to be pretty. That sounds to me like the grace of good. Being there you decent. go. Same thing. You get what you give. You know, if you give people shit, they're going to give you shit right back. So if you're getting a pile of shit, think about the pile of shit you're pushing. <laughs> it's, it's two-sided. And then there's some of us that don't see it that way. So doesn't doesn't even matter. On a scale of one to ten, then would you say that you prefer being decent, um, one being the lowest and ten being the highest? What would you say that you play? Oh, yourself? where I do it, yeah, probably around a seven or something, uh, a little more than average, because got to pay attention to do it. So I'm when not are you naturally not? a nice outgoing guy, Vinny? So what would um, you say then? Something that would be described as not being decent. Oh, from me? Yeah, like talking to hands oh, like, or something like that. If I went, if I went into the grocery store and yelled at somebody uh, about something instead of just asking them, 
Uh, that would be like yeah, a, I made a big scene out of one. some stupid. Oh, this is an error on my receipt. Yeah, that, that, that. Instead of, oh, hey, this doesn't look right. There's well, a nice way to do it, and what there's if an you asshole start way out, to do it. What if you start out like uh, there's been a mistake, and then, you know, they're like, oh, well, we're just wear you down, and then so you got to go, uh, look here, I'm not about no, no, to be no, violated. No, no. Is that not being This decent? whole structure is different. <laughs> and this, These kids are on a uh, contract. All right, well, I was flipping that, actually. For a way to, right, I'm trying to explain the mentality here is different. These right. kids are on a contract already. <laughs> They're union union employees. They know what a union does. There's not so much uh, corruption in the Danish unions, and the kids get a decent wage so that, you know, they don't have to depend on tips, like uh, minimum wage jobs and shit like that. that. That shit doesn't happen here. They don't do that. For a big-ass breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a, a thirty a thirty six hour work week is considered an, a fucking enough by most of the Danes. They don't want to be worked to death. Well, let me flip it then on me and put it back into America. <clears throat> Used to you'd get service with a smile and the customer's always right and stuff. And now that we, ironically, we're in this age of the service industry, uh, you get very little service and very little decency in response to poor service. In these days, and that's what's uh, coming out from, uh, uh, well, one and all. Generally, now it's the consensus. It's like, um, like my experience at Walmart. You know, when I take a heater back, the second one that was defective, and then want to act like they're gonna um, get over on me and and uh, not make it right. I just demanded that it be made right, and felt like, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't use such a Maybe you were, were vibrating on the right frequency. Uh, wrongly, maybe I don't know, but no, I did. Uh, maybe, I did get satisfaction, uh, but I had it to worked. Be, it worked out in your favor. Yeah, maybe I, I had to be less than decent. Because you were vibrating right. properly. Well, I sometimes you got to vibrate, maybe to over vibrate. Uh, <laughs> Can you know. control it? <laughs> yeah, uh, I I do. My well, no, at, not at, always. At, but, yeah. You got a common mental way to control your vibrations. Let me know what it is. Yeah, meditation works. Um, but it, it's like a temporary thing. You can't keep one idea on top of your head all the fucking time. Your mind jumps around from shit to, to shit. You have to breathe it, though. Yeah, but we're limited. Mm -hmm. And then we got these freaking computers to look at as some form of competition. And they're not, because they can't do what we do. Well, I don't know. You put box in, over bodies when you do the introduction, so... Yeah, but it's the same process. They teach, and you know, they start out with an infant, and they come out with a. So, uh, so if they're ever cutting out that infant stage to the adult product, right? Then it's not the same thing. It's different. Uh oh, Dork Cakes must have caught us when we're both quiet. Why? <laughs> Cirque says, "Hey, mental." I hope Mental can hear us. Uh, I don't think we did anything crazy. Did we do something crazy? Give us a sound check. Tap on the chat. We can hear you oh, good. Man. You know what? Or not. I what? just freaked out. <laughs> what? What happened? Oh, I, I said. Did you? Did I? Did you? Did I push on pause? I did. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe you. Um, Put, I thought maybe you zipped yourself up again in your oh, zipper. Oh, no. He it got me there. I um, didn't hear a scream. I oh, you, you muted us? Dork Cakes left. Thank you. No, I didn't mute us. I was like, no? did I hit record? I did. Okay. Well, I didn't mute anything either. I'm not in control of this here operation tonight. Uh, Moose says, I have audio. Thank you, Moose. And uh, Free and Slave just pushed now, so we got a live Dork Table thing. Frumpy three says Dork audio. Dork is back. Fine. He still has no and audio. And here, Dork Cake says no audio. It's not us. We're we're, we're out there. Circle the mental. wagon. Circle the you wagon. You can't hear us either. And that shit. Circle. Yeah. Circle the wagon. <laughs> yeah, but Mental's one of my buddies. He's one of the few people I truly know. Nose to nose, where I you know met the guy. So pound me too. But it disappoints me when when he can't connect. Because he lives uh, in like a rural area where the service may not be the best either. You never know. Internet, electronics, uh, we're, we're all getting fucked. 
So what? What's your uh, crisis of the week this week, Vinny? In America, Did I have one. That's what I'm saying. Uh, what What is the crisis of the week? Is it um, Iran or is it uh, North Korea uh, or is it Venezuela or is it <laughs> yeah. you have or is it Syria or is I mean you have like choices. I man. guess it's that time to uh, pound sand in uh, Syria and uh, push the buttons in Persia and uh, yeah, what's next? You know, we've known what's next for a long time. It's been um, it's been given to us the uh, the plan, and you know if uh, if you're listening behind the woodshed on Sundays here at Real Liberty Media, you'll get the notice in the news from Hal Anthony, at noon o'clock every Sunday on the Pacific side of the world. Yeah, yeah, it's all projected. I was giving you an uh, an affirmative there, Captain. Can uh, or Roger? Uh, oh, his speaker <laughs> says what? <laughs> Mental. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so anyway, you were just talking about pounding sand in Syria, events. Oh, yeah. Continue. Yeah. Continue. Oh yeah. Well, uh. I, I don't have to uh, be told what's going to happen. We already been told. So, yeah, we have not good news. Yeah. So, Wait a minute. Who's we? We all have. Aren't you paying we. attention? No. Listen, you're getting it for twenty percent off. At least you can do is. I- I've got to pay attention. Wait yeah. a minute. Who? When now you tell me? Yeah. Wow. Oh, great! All these details. Mm-hmm. Should have put that in the contract in the first place. Defeat of the hey, you know what you should have done is should have got a contract in the first place because hey, do you know that a verbal contract <laughs> is legal in court? <laughs> well, not everywhere anymore. Still, well, all right. It once in the Admiralty Court, you they were lenient compared to now when I was younger and dealt with them. You know, I've had the luxury of being away from all the, the transition and the treachery. How, how, do you, how do you prove a verbal contract? <laughs> These fuckers just, it's like they started out, you know, they, they untied their robe, and then, you know, over the course of my life, now the robe's gone, and there's some guy standing there with boxer shorts on. And what happened to this... Uh, legal system that we once had because it was fair in my day what? you because know, there was the the cops were becoming abusive and the judges weren't when i was in my 20s but it's all shifted since then oh now they it, well don't tell yeah anybody for anything i was going to disagree but maybe i'll just dis- maybe i will agree there was a more of uh that sense of uh being in that grace of good just a little bit, the yeah. Judge, Even yeah. yeah, rarely. Not so. Not wasn't like overwhelming, uh, but when they did use it, it was like, oh, they use in common sense. Okay, and they gave me the benefit of the doubt. Where other people, they didn't get that opportunity from the same freaking court. I want to give the you an example, would, a real life example here at okay. home, and, and back to Frumpy and, and saying that uh, you know what I is this about pounding sand in no, no, Syria? No, 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 no. It's about judges. Okay. There's a judge here, um, in. Uh, he ended up getting in trouble, and I don't know the whole story of it, but basically he kind of uh, used his position of authority and did a favor or something. And I know this man, and he is a, a good man, and he was about, uh, although he was bound by the Bar Association and, um, you know, was sold out to the idea, no doubt, than, uh, as as are the rest of them. But still, at he had that grace of good, that uh, wanting to be in the right spot to do right. And he, he helped people, you know, um, many times. So any, it's somewhere along the line that came and, and bit him in the end. Uh, but I do know him personally and know him to be a good man. And, and I've seen a lot of instances that uh, he used that position of power that he set in as a judge to, uh, to do right and to help people. And uh, he, it was not a punitive, um, you know, where he wanted to have uh, power. You know, a lot of people go to these positions because they want that power, and not as it was, and like you were talking about, that they were there to do that that uh, good thing, right? So uh, it, it's sad that the world is evolving into these uh, people. And Mama Bear talked to me about uh the the guys in the uh the military assault on the bundies and the the supporters there and you know them saying like 
and I'm going to shoot that fat bitch in the, that that bastard's dog and all these other stuff and trying to excuse it that that's how warriors talk and uh, you know it's kind of uh, uh, you know uh, because they've got to get past this and make jokes and stuff and so these are not the type of people that we need in these positions anywhere uh, that, you know not <clears throat> let alone in pounding sand in Syria or anywhere else in the world but especially not here at home that's not the type of people we need we need people that uh, are the peace officers, the peacekeepers, and, and not the law enforcers? Um, and so well, what are you what are you going to do with the law enforcers if they if they agree to your tactic? I don't. I mean, what, well, they exist what? now. What do you do with them now that they exist? You don't want to use them. What do you do with them? Let's quit creating them to go do wrong. I mean, it's uh, indoctrination. <laughs> That's how okay. they come. Yeah. They come back with the PTSD, and then they're well, abandoned. But is my question not clear? Well, I mean, if this was eliminated me. from the game, and these people were identified the way you're identifying them, what do you do with them after you've identified them as not fit to do that job? What do you do? Who me? I have nothing I can do. All of it. Everybody has well, to do for themselves, and, and it has to well, come with inside. Back to this book, this plague that oh, they take, okay. that that they get, and it's like changing their hearts and minds to do good. Well, it can only there's no magic plague that'll do that. You know, it's uh, it's there to be found by each in, individual. And uh, when you keep producing the deficient by a, as a byproduct, even or, or even purposeful to make byproducts to service that industry as well then that's what you get so where do you start at well we've started we're talking about it we we say where the wrongs of the world exist and point out you know we're going beyond these curtains we're we're tearing the veils we're rent, renting them asunder right we get no we're not uh, are you on drugs you're, let's see what am i missing well, we're we're living. Everybody lives differently um, than the other guy. Lucy, please. How am I dreaming while awake? What what it is? Uh -oh. What it is? What what do you do that's changing anything? What am I doing? I'm talking about. I'm I'm making an uh, I'm making an example. Uh, in, interacting with people actual. So uh, yeah, what am I dreaming? Uh, I'm, just, I'm demonstrating. What it should be, what it is, is completely different. Uh, so I'm not saying I got some magic idea where I can think rainbows and uh, fart butterflies and. No, that's me with those ideas. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not a dreamer. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm you a come, you come at me, I, in in aggression, and you know it's not going to be a smile that stops you. Maybe it'll slow you down for a second, but it's going to be a pop in the chop. It really Ooh, gets ouch. stopped. So don't think I'm a dreamer by any Wow. No, no, no. Did, I'm in, did you I'm get in your, this world did you get and your this environment. Tweak there yes, for, just a hey. little bit. I'm in this world and, and existing in it. And, you know, I didn't get through it being a pacifist. I'm going to tell you that much right now. But Ooh, when you can oh, seek peace, your battle scars, when, you, sir. when you can seek peace, then that is the direction. But if somebody comes with you without peace, then... Um, my my nature still uh, being as human as it is is to uh, uh, respond back in defense. So. Yeah, because Vinny's name translated into Mexican is El Cabong. <laughs> it's um, Victor. Right, El Cabong. Victor. Victor. <laughs> I was being funny, you big serious whack, guy. Whack, whack, whack. This no, is the dark I, table. Well, why listen, can't, why can't I just want to know. Fun? That's that's all I'm about. I want to know. I've got a fart glitter life. Wait, I'm opening up these picks. Yeah, but I've got a... Oh, they're good ones. i got a fart glitter life Ooh, out here in Danny Martin. More notifications. Sure. Compared to, compared to how life could be under a government that was more strict and demanding, yeah, it would be miserable. But Do you have tattoos? Nah, this is all right. It's just like if Cirque would have gone home with me in the, to the States instead of wanting to live here. We would have been fine. I know how to do American stuff. That, so here, she just knows this better. It's a trade-off. You know, but it's the same thing. 
I know my my home, and she knows hers, and hers is way less complicated. So a lot fewer choices here. Bubbles. Yeah, you know, things are are more above board in a lot of ways too. So that, you know, like I always harp about how comfortable it is that she knows we don't own the house. The house belongs to the state. We're just using it if we pay the fee, and that's cool. And I've never been in a relationship before where that was understood. Hmm. From way, way before the relationship, she came into it thinking that way. So there was no explaining this shit to her. It was her being surprised that I, she, I'm American and I know that. She didn't believe I would even have a clue. <laughs> so there's a, a lot of reasons why me and Sir click that are beyond average, you know. It was worth the, oh, the trap, the fourteen hundred mile trip to get here, and trapping myself in a uh, in a foreign country like this. My friends are going almost two thousand miles. Uh, that, you know, that's almost the length of the uh, Appalachian Trail. No, it was fourteen hundred miles. I think it's straight through across the um, water. It's shorter distance course. How would you like you to have can, to walk that or row it in the water? No, no, no. But I flew across it. But I could have gone. I uh, train or something, took a ferry to the train and took a train from the north and around and go through Germany and up into Denmark. But I didn't want to. I flew. I just wanted to get the flight and then you get the train and all that shit behind me and just not, you know, make a big journey out of it. Yeah, there are some people in this world uh, here in America that uh, are looking forward to actual uh, come to arms revolution hmm. I think a revolution is going to happen why wouldn't it sure and it, it's it'll be in our lifetime we're we're not dead yet they Nobody still got us hanging around ain't very many people are going to like it what? ain't very many well, people going to like it when it happens that's what I'm going to tell you no and it's not the young folk that are it's the people your age to the say 30 to say 55 those guys are the dangerous ones the younger ones, nah, they got nothing. They got Iraq, maybe. They're not even old enough to have gone to you're not, face you're off and all count, that shit. So you're not counting the it's inner a, city and what the I'm saying is and the teenagers. The, the, there's a the, there's so many different factions that are. They're not to competition to the guys that we were raised with. No, 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 no. This last twenty years raised a mess. Bunch of whiners, gun laws, and. Stop the violence. Fuck you. We grew up with bring it on. <laughs> then, uh, of course, Mr. Nixon decided to use the live ammunition and he slowed us all down. At Kent State? Huh? At Kent State? Uh-huh. That was the... that See, because in the si late 60s in L.A., there was the uprising with the young. That's why they put all the attention on the Manson thing. Take your mind off the the movement that was really moving. It wasn't the Charlie Manson movement. It was the kids in L.A. that weren't abiding by the freaking uh, curfews, and they were going out any fucking way. Giving the police a, no, I ain't going to do what you say. So they did all this Manson shit to d persuade the you know the, the information you got was that, not that L.A. was in trouble. Yeah. Okay, Buffalo Springfield wrote a song about it and tried to tell people, but here we are. Charlie Manson, the Manson family. No, that was that was theater and television to distract you from the reality of what the fucking kids were really doing and how dead set against them getting their way the system was. And they had something like Richard Nixon as a front man, oh, so we I'm ended up with the laws against drugs and all that. War on drugs. Because, here, Vinny, let me be serious for two minutes, and I'll, I'll lead you into something you'll love to talk about. Okay. And that's this. That when Lincoln was in power as the president of, you know, the president of the United States, he's sitting POTUS, he signed a, a thing that put the government into... Uh, a state of emergency, I guess you would call it, that they called um, 
what what did they call that, Vinny? When it it was uh, the Admiralty Court took over because the government was at war. It's technicality. They're written out. You can read this stuff better than than I can repeat it. Are you talking about the but, labor code? I'm not really sure which code or what. That's During what I mean. Is I don't believe all this codes. stuff is real. But I know to refer to it because that's the way the game is played. Well, you know now so, that, that we've they've actually gone extrajudicial. So I mean, well, they're, they're, but the, the point. Law okay, let me finish. The point exist. is about okay. it, it's written. If you're under martial law, there you go. He put he uh, Lincoln put the U.S. under martial law, never lifted it, and it stays in martial law as, as under martial law as long as there is a war declared every two years. An award can be a verbal war. A war against poverty is a war. So every two years they come up with a new war thing theme to be against to keep this Admiralty Court fucking shit working. Well, I can't tell you what declaration there's been every two years on all of that. You know, the last one, what is the the war on terror? No, look, I mean, look closer. There's for, no, no. There's constant fucking war, Vinny. And every year there's something. A war against this country, a war against terror, a war against the color blue. There, every you need to look into that a little bit more deeper if you don't see what I'm talking about. Well, I know about yeah, but that's you. You can go back to the report from Iron Mountain on that. That uh, thing. What's Nick that study? Uh, you can you can look that up. The report from Iron Mountain. People in chat will know about it. I know Mike does. Um, it, well, it's it going back called, to the source yeah, of it and it goes called, back to Lincoln. Well, yeah, even be, be, you know, before this, then this is back in the '60s. It's the you know the desirability of peace and um, the alternatives because, as as I'm talking about through the broadcast today, you know, peace um, would exist were it not for the artificial scarcity and um, the fear mongering and the continual. Uh, perpetuation of threat upon us and that comes from the system and, you know it's a combination from the media and the military industrial complex the uh, petroleum industry and so forth these positions of power that uh, uh, only uh, to some they don't see the the continuation of this idea and the scam that goes on like uh, uh, talking with Beth in chat there she was saying too for decades and I say and she said even centuries and I say even millennia uh, you know, beyond empire, because uh, powers that be will even uh, abandon empires to, you know, shift their position, and we see that in history. And one of those curtains that Grams was talking about last night, uh, these uh, that I'm calling veils that uh, are rent asunder, we see past, uh, and only very few people progress to see an idea. So you can stay in a state of... Uh, um, what is said to be and accept that you know what is a status what has been stated and said to be and then exist then becomes a a power unto uh, itself a beast and then what it has its own momentum there and it's fueled and perpetuated because not by any one individual or even a group but it's rolling whether those people are, are grounded in and that's generally what happens you know it consumes and destroys and that's the uh, system of uh, the world today. So what do you seek to do but to find peace? And can you find it in the legal system? No, because law is perverted. <laughs> A lot of people claim they do, Vinny. Mm -hmm. they, they praise the police and they praise their courts without really seeming to understand what the hell they're talking about. <clears throat> That's my opinion from experience with the shit that I'm talking about. I wouldn't wish an American court on, on my worst enemy, whoever that may be. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's not fair. That's that's like wishing somebody death. That's what it serves. You know, some of these guys in prison doesn't now. Sa but, well, it, it doesn't sound that way to average Joe, Vince, because they don't see the shit that you're talking about. That stuff goes by even though they they read about it, they don't see it. It it doesn't exist in their reality somehow. They overlook it. I or was these already aware happen. of it, knew about it, and then to be able to go in and see it firsthand, to actually see the living, breathing beast. Uh, well, uh, how do you belly? 
Yeah. Give me an example of what what that would be. I mean, how would Being you Being inside the the courtroom. Send me somewhere to see it. Uh, go go sit in court for a day. Yeah, well, uh, you can sit along with the uh, with me when I sat for a week with Bruce Doucette, and I saw how the whole system, how, how it was all laid out, and how the jury was hogtied. I saw how a couple of those gals in the jury looked at me and the look in their eye that says, um, you know, because I'm sitting there with a laminated piece of paper around my neck with the uh, anno, uh, anarcho-capitalist sign there for Real Liberty Media inside the courtroom, you know, before the uh, the, the judge named Spear and the robber ship, I mean, Robert Shapiro, the prosecutor, and the wart, his assistant, and Byrne, the U.S. Marshal, and Ryan English. Yes, got to have that English spelling in there to have it all correct. The names itself is just a joke, not, not to mention how they precluded justice. When they said, just us, that's all they get to speak. And then you go to the Bundys. Yes, the Bundys, Moose Girl, in that courtroom there and how that judge shut down any avenue and opportunity that truth be told. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth does not exist in the court system. And it's not there. So. Well, right. But how do you explain that to anybody else? I'm doing that it believe, right now. That way, can I, let me finish the sentence, please. But that already believes what they, the opposite of what you're going to tell them is going to make them defensive. Any sample it. Because it cracks your damn reality to, to face that these courts are all a sham. Well, let me tell you what Grammy said last night. Again, very few people will pass that next curtain. So, um, you might hear, it might be like when I was up there in Hasty and that, that big old rock cliff, that limestone, and uh, yeah, having a little fun and hollering at the echo, and um, yeah, we all laugh. But uh, is that what you're getting? Is an echo? It's bouncing it back. Sometimes somebody will actually be there to hear it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's it's a very weird way to put it, but yeah. Makes sense if I think about it long enough. But, you know me. Some things I like and some things I don't. Uh Uh-oh, I heard something pop. It's the grace of good. Oh, the grace of good. By the grace of good, go I. Yes, I did see it firsthand, Moose Girl. Actually, firsthand. That's Mm. like, you know, been doing radio here at Real Liberty Media for a few years now. (laughs) Talking about the things that I'm actually at and doing. Yeah, no, I started in radio and, uh, uh, you know, sp- exploring these ideas of what matters worldwide. I called it a voyage of exploration. And I, I traveled the world vicariously through the ether, um, became friends with people in different parts of the world and looked for people that it was uh, not like me. And then, uh, so I do see, uh, I call it a dream. I do see a, a commonality of mankind and a, a desire for what is right. Uh, and people becoming more aware of the fixed system. So there's more and more people passing that next curtain, tearing that, uh, renting asunder that veil that uh, is there to uh, hide what it actually is in this world. Wow, because there's dork cakes. It's got to be taken back. Many will die. We're all going to die. Ready. We will all die, Problem. first of all. Pretty much everybody? I don't want to go. Hey, wait a minute. Spare me, oh great one. Who's who's in charge of this massacre? I want to talk to the main guy in charge. Hello? Well, that government is Hello, the thing. main guy in charge of the massacre. Will you leave me alone? <laughs> it, it is a thing, but it's encompassed... Of people Go away, yo! I don't want to die, yo. <laughs> it's given Never legal mind. fiction <laughs> that it is becomes a person, a legal person. Yeah. So um, Ooh, it, it's people the, are very negative. Trick. It's part of the trick, yeah. That's how it happens. Trick I don't feel again. negative. You know, what I feel doomed. No, doomed. Not, even, not even a little bit. Don't even. <laughs> nah. Don't even think about it. No, well, I think I. about it in. T- terms of a funny. Yeah. Hope Cirque's home when we go up in our 
ball of nuclear waste or whatever the fuck happens. But the other way, they're just killing us real slow. So Cirque's figuring out ways to get a lot of years out of me. <laughs> not a big up, deal. Pump, pump. pump it up. And the doomsdayers on the RLM are predicting the end of the world. No survivors, says Dork Cakes. That's right. I, well, yeah, sooner or later you're going to be dead. What? Eh. I've been, been around long enough to not care anymore. Fuck it. Going to do what it's going to do. As long as the people who I physically encounter are going to treat me as good as they do, I'm, I'm fine. You know? People are just friendly and country-like here. And hey. the ones that aren't doesn't bother me. They're in a hurry to go somewhere. They don't let them be. They're I got to mute up. You know, I'll be back. I got I to gotta do a couple of things. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I will tell them the tale of the thing from the place. Because once upon a time. Let's see. Uh, look through my notes. And uh, the last couple shows, I've been kind of leaning towards cracking a joke about when the state figures out that they can charge you for breaking the laws of physics. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> you know, like uh, the global warming shit. To me, how I break that down is they're actually, they've made a law against breaking the laws of physics. But what they did was they lied to you about what the laws of physics were to get you to support the freaking cause. Because when you're advertising, there's nothing to hold you accountable for using the truth to, to pitch a product. You don't have to tell the people the truth about every little detail. Why, no, that's what advertising is for. <laughs> so that you can eliminate certain things in certain ways so that when they're brought up, oh, well, wow, that's not, you can't even talk about that. It's in the document. Go back and look at it. And Mr. We the Public is going to get a huge freaking jolt in reality when they find out what that 5G massacre really is about. I don't think it's coming here for about six more years where we're at. If there's any plans at all, it would be after 25. And I don't know if I can outrun it or go live in a jungle or what, what would happen by that point. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to make a decision today. <laughs> Mr. Rob Works tells me to shut up and get a flu shot. <laughs> I don't want to go shut up and go get a flu shot. I've told the story about the flu shot that I got before I left America. And you have all these mandatory freaking things. And if you don't do them, then you can't go on your trip. And one of them was we had to go to Walmart and go get a flu shot, which <clears throat> probably was water or something, because I didn't <clears throat> get no flu from it. Anyhow, the day that we did this, they got the girl at a white table, and there's a stand-up curtain and a chair. So I, I made the best of it. <clears throat> when I was walking up towards her, I was pretending to pull you know, undo my pants and pull, pull them down to take a shot in the ass. And uh, my partner at the time was prepared for me to do or say something off the wall, so what didn't really get much of a rise out of her. But the girl with the shot, <laughs> she was quite embarrassed at the, the result that I gave her and was, no, no, it's in your arm, in your arm. <laughs> so that was an exciting moment many years ago now for me. But uh, mandatory, see. Don't do it, then what? And this is before all the information really was being made public about, hey, these things are frauds. Hey, Benny. Hey, I broke a leg. Hey, I Donna see. made it. What does that mean, uh, you broke yeah, a leg? Yeah, I broke a leg when uh, I got a flu shot. It didn't work. I jumped off the roof straight, uh, straight to you the couldn't ground. Fly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, ex yeah, except, see, that's what I mean is there's been times in life where if I didn't do what this freaking state said I had to do, I would have been the freaking domino that ruined everything. So, be, you know, to keep the crew happy, I did what they fucking said to do. Take and one for the team. Mister. Now, regret it? No. It's not that. It's just that's how controlled I feel this thing is. You can't do what you feel is right or what you feel is wrong. You do what you're fucking told to do or you don't go. 
Yeah, sometimes you got to go a different way, then, too. Well, the, right, but the trip How was not set up to go? take a freaking sea freighter and travel, you know, around Hong Kong first. It was, you know, one like a one-day flight. Boom, yeah, you're there. You, you talk, talk about that. If you ain't got your papers in order, you get caught on the high seas, and you might be in trouble. No, I'm not a pirate. I was flying commercial. Pirates remain the same at 3.142... What was it? 3.141917636. I forget. Let's go look it up. You did a better job of it when you typed it. Yeah. I don't know. No, don't add, don't quiz me when I'm stoned on the dork table about math Three point one four one five nine two six five three five nine. You need the nerds for that. Right There's a lot of nerds right now. We got Dork Cakes nerd. We got Rob Works nerd. Grim nerd. Got nerds. Anti nerd. There's nerds available. I didn't see Donna nerd coming. It's though. a herd of nerds. Donna's here. I seen it her. Wait a minute. Oh, Van Meter. There you are, yeah, Donna. Donna Nerd uh, just came in. Van Meter Nerd. She'll be okay. flying away well, to Florida. Just because you you got an audience, my friend. People love your opinions about everything. She might not be able you, to listen. She's jacking you, my fire. You should, you should tell us about the time you were a captain on that septic tanker off the coast, off the coast of Portugal. Uh, hey, it's 420 somewhere. Thank Told you. Much. Here we go. Yeah, uh, uh, Shall we? I got something here. Shall to spark we play up. a game? I got no, I'm going to join the crew and out. spark up. I am a follower. Ooh, I feel so used. Smoke them if you got them. I'm You're you. using me for your own personal gain, You're you welcome. pot smokers out there in the electronic this world. Is angel heart. What a... What a mythy way to live, you know, live in freaking fantasy land, thinking all that stupid shit's all true. Oh, know. what a world we live in, a bunch of morons. Crank on through to the other side. Tear that you know, curtain so down, if, get if, to the graces. Good. I just used the word morons, right? Yeah, so if that, hearing that wrong. word offended the person listening, yeah. I wrong. must have been being, wow, that you're was wrong. cruel. Wrong, wrong, wrong. But, I say you're wrong, mister. It is not moron. They are more off. But. Moron. Oh, but the morons are good, right? Would you rather be a moron I was or a more, more off? to you than at you. Thank you. Kindly. That's it? I don't know. Should I talk at you or to you? Which one do you prefer? How about through me? To me? How about through you? Hmm. Now I have to deliver my words on 5G so they cut you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and leave wow. a scar. Oh, Jules posted uh, uh, UCY.TV on Twitter about that uh, yeah. communications and stuff. We're going to be having a problem with the 5G. 5G, yeah. yeah. Of course, it's going to cause people illness beyond their talk, wildest talk, fucking dreams. Yeah, they're going to have a problem with the uh, forecasting. And, that, and the they've weather. been inoculating all these kids and, and grown-ups alike, I would assume, with all kinds of mm. experimental shit for the last, what, 20 years? Oh, you, you got these Doppler things, you know, the Doppler weather set up. Beetle yeah, might tell you yeah. some stuff about that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so the 5G is going to contrast, I guess, some way there. She quit. She Isn't it that. wonderful that we just get treated so good by the system that we support? And if you if you ever step across that imaginary verbal line and don't support the freaking state, why, they got shepherds to come out and attack you verbally for your decision. Isn't that good? Well, if the shepherd sheepdog doesn't work, then they send in the wolves. Oh, really? And define wolf, then, sir. I might be misinterpreting your w remark. Well, you got, they're called jackals, too. Uh, the ones that go in for blood. Is it, you know, the, the carrot and the stick. The, the, the shepherd, carrot? Yeah, the shepherd. And the Dick. The shepherd or the uh, the sheepdog, you know, just using the carrot. Well, uh, they'll they'll hurt a little bit, you know, nip at the heels. But uh, generally, the, heels. the sheep are going where the grass is growing. So, yeah. put up a fence, and it always looks greener on the other side, of course. Wait a minute! I'm surrounded by fence. I don't mind it. What are you safe? talking about? Are you some kind of communist? 
No. Oh, okay. Well, I've, I'm surrounded by fence here. I'm locked into my little cage. And I've told you that the front of the house is in the back, and the back faces the main street. It's completely reversed. So to get into the house, you got to go through a fence. <laughs> Priceless. It's like home security beyond your wildest imagination. It's all in the design. Design. Mm hmm. Well, sure, because th these houses were thought out way before the transportation was put in. So they only had a railroad and a, a dirt road at one point. So the direction that your house was facing was not a big deal. They didn't think ahead for, well, which, which way the road was going to be on. Yeah. Boy, yeah, I want to tell so you they got some view. houses that face yeah. the, the street and some houses that don't. Maybe they wanted their view to matter. You should saw... See, yeah, it was built with different the, purpose, too, yeah. Oh, on the trip back, yeah, we took the yeah. back roads. It was so beautiful coming along the uh, little, a branch of the, the Little Buffalo. Because yeah, we had a half, a half a day of overcast today, and then the sun came out just before the door table program. And Cert got to go out there and do a little crochetting. She's still out there. It's going to be light until about 9 o'clock. We had some 13, I think it was, percent grade on the trip back. That's that's quite hot. Oh, yeah. W were you driving? Yeah, I was in a van. Like No, were you driving or were you no, just No, I, I was riding. riding oh. Uh, I used my white privilege uh, uh. In, in the... Uh, Were you enjoying back. your white privilege and sitting I shotgun? Yeah, I I seen a cop, a highway patrol up where they usually sit on sixty five, and he's yeah. looking. You know, he sees his hippie van a coming, so I've got my cowboy hat on, and we come through, and I pass him. I look over at him, and I nod. So, of course, then we're not fooled with and fiddled with, and we pass on along down the highway on our way home. White privilege. Because you're in the redneck club. <laughs> Moisey. Because you're in the Redneck Club. Yeah. Yeah, my brother's in that club. And it really exists. So, I just don't play it. Bup, 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 bup. It's like a certain tattoo. It'd be the same freaking thing. That cowboy hat thing is unique. That didn't work, the ca the, uh, that uh, tattoo for voters. So. Well, yeah, but I want them to have it put over their freaking eye. We, we're you going know, with if the you're red a dot? Democrat, you get a star over your left eye. So and if you're a Republican, you get a square over your right eye. That would be fucking cool. And then do it in the color of the fucking party, red and blue. That way, when us non-voters see you and your leader fucked us over, we can beat the shit out of you. <laughs> How's that for fucking civilized? <laughs> what do you think? I'm not sure. If I'll bet that civilized. would cure people of ever fucking wanting to vote. For that is anybody, not a case of good. No, sir. No, sir. No. I say no, sir. Well, I think the requirements for voting aren't serious enough. So I think we should raise the requirements of voting to a level that is so fucking impossible to do it that nobody would want to do it. Fuck all that legal schmeagol government crap. It don't work anyway. It's a bunch of crap. Leave people alone. Live in a certain area and just fuck off. <laughs> but it doesn't work that way. It does work that way because most people really live in one's place. And for the rest of those transient, mobile ones, <laughs> oh well. The game is rigged, Vinny. I thought you knew that. Mm. Right, am I making you think again? Yeah. Are Are you reserving the right to mm. refuse service? Mm, yeah. I don't have any shoes or shirt on. <laughs> oh, you're reading the chat. Are you? No, I'm not. I have my glasses off. I was looking outside at the leaves fluttering in the wind. Ah, the leaves are fluttering. You know, I planted some more um, vegetables out back, right? And when they brought them to me, they had like labels in each pot with the telling you what it was. And Sir kind of was disappointed that I I didn't put the sticker with the plant <laughs> when I took everything out and planted the shit. I just I, planted it. 
I got more seeds to plant. I gotta go dig up more topsoil to do it. My first uh, tire, uh, I didn't get enough organic into it, so it's real slow in growth. But now I got two more; they're sprouting out, and I got some. Uh, I planted different melons too, but these yeah, look like pumpkins. Now we've got dork mystery mm -hmm. plants that nobody knows what they're called until they start growing vegetables or right. something. Yeah, yeah. So I really fucked up the whole thing by right. not doing something in order like usual. <laughs> Poor sir. Uh oh, did we lose? But did we drop? If I, Hold on. If I, stand down. What? Stand down, mister. What? Did Are your we still broadcasting? Go? I don't know. I don't I'll, know. Hold on. No, I guess not. Stand down, sir. We'll see. Yeah, you went over at me and ponder gandered. Look. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. What? Hold on. We're, I'm holding on. We're bouncing here, buddy. Bouncing, okay. We're we're still recording. No, it's connecting. So yeah, we're not. Okay. We're not on air. We only did a dork table, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, I I'm will get stop through. It. Hang on, man. I'm working on. We it. will survive this. We survived everything else. Clickety click click. Uh oh, something going wrong there, Vinny. Hmm. Okay. It says connected. Uh, it says I'm on. <laughs> mash yeah. the button. Says Rob works. Stream lost. Up. Oh, we lost. We're out. Well, you want to call it a dork table for the day, then? Might as well. It looks like uh, my connection's right. folded. Uh, That's okay. We'll give it a minute and see if we come back. I guess not. Well, I'll just... Uh, we can close out here for the uh, for the podcast. There, yeah, but where there's no... Yeah, for the uh, podcast, but yeah. there's no uh, live stream. So, this has so. been uh, In a Perfect World, contrasting the occupation. No, this is the dork table. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I lost the day. Yeah, it's the dork table where we were uh, contrasting the occupation and considering a perfect world anyways, and uh, we'll do that Tuesday. Uh, but, tomorrow is... Um, well, we're going to play trivia, and we're going to listen to some blues. Come at about a quarter to noon and get started here with Grimner. And at 3 o'clock Eastern, it's Hal Anthony from behind the woodshed. Grim Leftovers is Monday, and that's at 7 o'clock on Eastern Time. Tuesday, right here in a perfect world, uh, it's 1 p.m. Eastern. Wednesday, Grammy's back at 7 p.m. Eastern in the rocket chair. Come on for the blast off. And Thursday, we got Mr. Flash Rash with... Uh, 20% off. <laughs> what a deal. And that is at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. Back again Friday. And I'm coming back at, if the ponder gander, uh, what matters. And uh, going to be looking at trains, pains, and record deals. And my trip to Las Vegas and uh, some of the similarities of the world we live in. Uh, Grammy's back again at 7 Eastern for the Rocket Chair. And at 11 Eastern, it's uh, Freakers Ball, y'all. Thanks for listening. And uh, peace. And we'll go stop the record. How about that, mister? Say goodbye, Gracie. Thanks, everybody. Good boy.